what I call the emitters. And um, they're really kind of about, I guess, the resonance of a material. That, that's, how, that's, how I, that's how I kind of thought of them, and that's how they're played. Um, so, so how it all works is that the computer generates sine waves and it's controlled by the program on the iPad. The iPad controls this program that makes sine waves that then go to the emitters and then the, the sine waves resonate them. And the sine waves are usually like, it's really two sine waves that I can, I can vary the pulse, pulse width between them to kind of change the sort of the pulsing of them. And anyways, then they both have on contact microphones, and that's how the sound gets amplified. And so it's all about, it's really all about the resonance of the materials. Um, it's like you're really hearing the resonant qualities of the steel. And I can play it in certain ways because at different frequencies with different energies, it, it does certain things. And, and that's kind of how I play it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Any questions? Was the glass one going? Yes. Was that the one that was making the like tink tink kind of sound? The high, the high sound. Okay. Cool. Can you see the back of it? Yeah. Show them the back. Okay. Of it. Yeah. Is that yeah. Thing? Yeah. Well, yeah. actually, this shit. Yeah. Like. Okay. I guess that's another thing to explain. Like this one has like a a transducer that you use to turn a picture frame or a or some or a window into a speaker. And this one. This one has two. Um, it has two 50 watt bass shakers on the back that, that power the um, that power the piece of steel. And then like the contact mic is, is like down in this corner, so it has a lot of of the material to go through before it gets picked up. Um, 